Welcome to MIT fans to my review of the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael. Oh, you see Raphael on the box. Autofocus again, same thing as always. See, it is the classic TMNT Raphael, same, same box as the Donatello Raphael and the Michelangelo figure. Same turtles on the front, the name Raphael at the front. The TMNT logo, the classic collection name, inspired by the original TMNT animated series from 1988 in 34 points over the collection. And the back, exact same thing, nothing more to it, same blister, nice pose or fail actually, this is a nice pose. Oh. More to, more, what to say to more, it's exact, exact, exactly the same box, so nothing more to it. I'd love to, one thing I can say first, I do love the, the color and the head sculpt on Raphael better than Donnie and Mikey. It's, they're not as bad and, and don't have the same problems with the crooked eyes on or the Mr. misdirect or in this case mispainted eyes so let's open, let's open this guy you see what's on the inside and here's Ralphie out of the box now, same thing as the, the other uh, turtles exact same body type so no difference in whatsoever, just uh, the head sculpt, the weapons they comes with, and the belt buckle, belt buckle, or just the wrist buckle, what the heck you want to call it, sorry, is basically different. So, rifle comes with his bolt, his size, which they, he can hold it, but this is the problem I told about Donatello, because some, some weapons that are for the bow staff from Donatello, and the cut, uh, katanas, the nunchucks from Leonard, uh, Mikey, they were okay, but uh, Raphael's kind of a pain just to get him tight. He holds them, but uh, it's a very little loose. At least uh, you have to make, you have to do some force and fiddle, fiddle around with the fingers a bit to make it, to make the make it as tight as possible so it doesn't move around. This, in this case, it's okay. I was having some problems earlier, but fortunately I was able to fix them. No, let me take them out, and you can store the one thing. Uh, I forgot to say, uh, Mikey's uh, uh, nunchucks have the, the his color corresponding. Donatello doesn't have, which is a kind of a letdown. Just a bit. Uh, Leonardo and Raphael do have the exact same color corresponding weapons. Danny, it's the only one he doesn't have. So okay, then mind their nitpick. As you can see, you can store the weapons down here, no problem, but if you store the weapons, you won't be able to move the its uh, torso, so don't store the weapons, at least when using it, when, when you do some poses with them, don't store the weapons, at least for, don't bend the weapon, so you didn't punch, because, look, my weapons are already bent right off of the box. This one looked a bit, and the other one just not as much. This one, it's a lot. I have to put some hot water, water or try to bend it back or something. Maybe later on. And also, Raphael comes with the man cover. In this case, it says Raphael. Nice base then. And let's see what Raphael has to show us off. First up, the head sculpt. This is a, a much better head sculpt compared to Donnie's and Mikey's. So yeah, if I, I said, guys, Donnie and Mike is it's shorter than Sam Michelangelo, Leonardo, and you know, they they are, sometimes call themselves Donnie, Mikey, and on the movie, on the series, so it's no, it's really, there's no problem. If some other person is uh, upset or angry or sorry, I apologize, I just prefer to call them shorter names for the sake of review. And I like to call them smaller names, that's good. I know, weird. Okay, head sculpt wise, uh, Raphael has one of the best sculpts. He has an angry face, which is kind of uh, cool because it's basically what Raphael sometimes is. He's a rebel, he's a bad guy, he's the angriest of, an, of the turtle, so it fits the character. And also the nice grim, the double side grim, like in the original toy lines, something that actually uh, Michael uh, Donatello has on its figure, not on Raphael figure. But okay. Nice painted eyes. The eyes this time look better. In each, in any direction, the eyes do look great. On the side, it's okay. At front, it's okay. Even though it looks up, it doesn't matter because the, his eyes are 
because of this scope it's closing so it took this look okay look it looks he's mean uh, mean uh, uh, angry at somebody like he saw shred or something so it fits okay not on this side looking up but not too bad one of the best articulation wise exactly the same as all torso articulation head articulation up and down, left and right, uh, because of the uh, remember, don't store the weapons if you want to move the torso because you will bend the weapons, so be careful when doing that. Shoulder movement up and down and all around. Luckily, this time uh, Rafael didn't have the same problems as Donnie and Mikey, it was a smoother uh, bend, uh, cracking of the plastic, so it wasn't that much of a problem forcing it, so it's okay. It's Mile, miles may average, so, so some figures may be tougher than the other ones. Luckily, this one isn't. You can rotate the upper part of the uh, the lower part of the shoulder, double jointed elbows, wrist articulation, even the little uh, wrist bands can move. You can move it a little bit to the side to cover up the joints if you want to. If, if you, individual fingers articulation, thumb. Up and down, up fingers and down fingers. What the heck do you call these things actually for the show? I don't know. It's fingers. Well, you can go up and down, just a bit down, not too much. Rotate at the joint of the waist and below the leg. If you can pop it up, there you go. Rotate and double jointed knees. So you can bend it a lot. Uh, as you see, toe articulation up and down a bit. And you have some some foot articulation up and down and rotating. One thing I told before because uh, when I talk Donatello out of the box, his leg was mis mistransformed or misplaced. Same thing with Raphael. As you can see, one leg is uh, straight, one leg is uh, off to the side. You can you can pause it, no problem. But if you want to fix it, just if you want to re fix this problem. Just rotate this part and then rotate the leg joint. If I can pop, pop it up, there you go. As you can see, now it's straighter. If you want to fix it, now I know why they did that. So you can have a little bit of a range of motion or something. At least that's what I think this joint is supposed to do. But that's my no that's my own my opinion. But let me put Rafael over here at the base. See, store weapons. Not move the the waist so I don't bend them too much. Now for the size comparison, here he is. Here he is. 2012 Rafael and Classics Rafael, the 25th anniversary version. Go back a little. See all fit nicely. Uh, the only difference is the new one, the new Raphael, has the more darker skin tone and the different uh, crack of the shell. And the, it fits better with the classics one. The skin tone is almost exactly the same. Much like uh, Michelangelo's, I, I even think uh, Leonardo, they have basically the exact same, at least similar color scheme. I think uh, the figure is a little bit lighter compared to Raphael, but slightly. Not, nothing, not too much. As sculpt wise, compared to Dana, to Raphael's classic one, it does look very similar. At least the angry eyes, the open, the mouth, it looks very, very similar. It's a nice idea. See, weapons wise, uh, the classic, the new one. The 2012 you store at the back, while the classics one you store the, on the front and with the extra weapon on the back. Funny enough, the only turtle we that has an extra, an extra holster for a different weapon. Yes, I, uh, yes, I do store one. I, I know it doesn't have it, but if he has the holster, why not use it, right? This is why we, and I saw much if Raffle would use him, but uh, uh, it's okay, not much. Uh, now I would show Raphael with the other uh, turtles, but I already store them on it on their boxes. Yes, I store on the original boxes, so it's uh, so I don't. Uh, as you can see, my total of uh, of a lot of dust. Unfortunately, my room is very dusty, so I st always store. Uh, once I have Leonardo, I will do a comparison between all four of them. 
because uh, unfortunately I don't have Leonardo yet. For some reason, my local Toys R Us doesn't have the Leo figure as all all the other three, but doesn't have Leonardo at least now. I will go around maybe this week or maybe next week, depending on my time, because I'm trying to find also Mega Force stuff and other figures. So maybe I lucky will get the other one, the final TMNT. And then I will do a comparison and then a wrap up a wrap between all four figures and the rest of the TMNT Classics line. So that's all for all now, guys. So see you guys next time, same time, same channel.